Am I the asshole for dating again years after my husband passed away? Ugh, okay. I'm a 38-year-old woman. I was married to my ex-husband for many years. We had three children together who are now 15 female, 18 male, 19 female. Sadly, ex, we'll call him ex, I guess, ex passed away over 14 years ago, and I've been a widow ever since. I did try to date two years after and had another child, 12 male. Uh, my oldest two didn't accept him either until later on. I was devastated at that. So I guess you're saying her, her oldest child never accepted the child that came after her widow. Mm. Recently, I started dating a new man, 40 male, named N. And I felt, ready, I felt ready to share the news with my children. While my younger two children were happy for me, my older two were really upset that I had moved on from their dad, quote unquote, so quickly. They accused me of not honoring their father's memory properly and being disrespectful to his legacy. I also told my parents who had a strong reaction and they told me that I was acting immorally and that I should be ashamed of myself for replacing my late husband. However, my in-laws had a more compassionate response and told me that they understood my situation and didn't want to see me depressed for such a long time. I really respect their decisions and their grief, but I've also been in therapy ever since his death and I feel that I am justified to date again. I never told them that he was going to replace, he was going to replace the place and their father had in my heart but I do love N very much. I'm really torn and I don't know what to do. I don't want to hurt my children, but I also don't want to stay alone forever. Am I the asshole for dating again after my husband's death or should I be allowed to move on and find happiness with someone new? Guys? So her parents had the negative reaction? Yeah, her parents had a negative reaction. Her in-laws had a more compassionate response. And that's the parents of the, the guy that died? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just think... Sorry, okay. just for clarification, she said her youngest is with somebody else? No, her youngest is a child of another man. Yeah. yeah. Who she okay. had after her, yeah. her, her husband her, her died. Past, yeah. Right. Her, her children are. And then now she's dating somebody else. Mm -hmm. She didn't explain what happened to the, the, the youngest. I father. think she was mentioning that the youngest child wasn't um, accepted by her other kids. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. probably. It's like you're an outsider. Right. Like you're the first born out of non family, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And recently she started dating this new guy. And her children, her two youngest children were happy for her, but the two older ones were upset because mm -hmm. they still had the image of their dad. Mm. And she, they think that she moved on too quickly. So what do you guys think about this? Is she the asshole? No, I don't think so. I don't think she's the asshole at all. I, like to, we were kind of talking about this a little off camera. Like, I think as soon as the significant other is out of the picture, you take the time you need to heal. Mm -hmm. Take that time, heal become whole again because i'm sure that affected you on ways that i don't understand because i've never been through that before you know right but for her to go back into the dating world and look for somebody look for a connection i think that's very human she should have that right she should look for somebody i've had you being lonely your entire life and just thinking that after one person passes away i'll never have anybody again mm. that's, that's a very empty feeling you know so um, I, I think it's really important and to the i don't think she's the asshole at all because she deserves to have somebody that loves her, you know? Yeah. Go but ahead. she, again, for me, there's always level to asshole. You need to not approach people. Your, your kids are young. But the first one, I think there was 12. There's a five, uh, seven year gap between the oldest and the youngest, The oldest right? are 15 and 19. 19 and, and the youngest then, is 12. And the youngest is 12. So, and then there's one that's 18. No, it's 19, 18. And then 15 and 12 are the younger ones. Yeah, so the, let's say the oldest, 19, the youngest, 12, five, what, seven-year gap? Or, yeah. So you're telling a child, oh, your dad died a few years ago. So in their small mind, they have to come to terms with, my dad's never going to come back in this house. All of a sudden, a child randomly appears. And then with this other guy. So it's difficult for them to accept that and understand that fact as a young child. Mm -hmm. So you, there's certain, it has to be certain ways of approaching your family, especially you have four kids of, I'm going to be dating and there's going to be different new friends that may stop the house and may like, that's the thing is she doesn't have to explain herself to nobody. Her, her parents are one thing. The children, she has to explain that to that. This may be a different style, mm -hmm. but please just accept it. And let's see how we can get used to these people and let's see who fits in our family. If she did it that way, then I have no issue. But if you're you're not gonna approach your children in the right way, way, then That's and true. you're gonna say afterwards, yeah. okay, you guys have to accept this. This is what's happened. Right on. Yeah. 
I agree with what you said. I feel like <clears throat> I agree a lot with what you said, actually. I was thinking about it really hard, but, you know, your opinion kind of swayed me. I think she does need to communicate that to her kids about like what she plans on doing and whether they feel comfortable with somebody new coming into their lives, not just hers. And yeah, I think it is just that. I think she needs to. But the thing is, I think the kids can be difficult depending on how young they are and just how, I guess, just they maybe they just have not moved on in their grieving process. Right. But she has. That can be a little complicated. But as a parent, you need to be sensitive to your kids and how they are handling the the death of their father, right? Mm -hmm. So I think with that, I guess family counseling. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. To be honest, I, I, yeah, I agree with what Mukhtar said too. Like, it should start with a conversation with her kids. I feel like before she, before she should make the conscious decision that this new man is going to be in her life, she should get the acceptance from her kids prior mm -hmm. to that. You know, she shouldn't just incorporate him and be like, "All right, guys, here, uh, this is the new reality." I feel like what you're saying is, is very valid. She should have a conversation to the point of understanding even, you know, like even if the initial right off the bat conversation doesn't go well, try and find out where it went wrong, you know, mm -hmm. and kind of like counsel that to a point, you know, uh, and, and family counseling could really be the, the, the point that helps here. But I mm -hmm. think um, this family itself is has been damaged by this, the, this death in their family and they still haven't fully come to terms with the new reality that they will be living. Mm -hmm. um and it's she's very justified to feel that she she doesn't want to be alone for the rest of her life and she has every right to pursue somebody new especially after 14 years you know like yeah. it's been yeah. a really long time and i think her parents are being very selfish um in the way that they're responding to her trauma yeah or her her grieving right mm -hmm. she deserves happiness she deserves peace mm -hmm. um and, and and that's just kind of where it's at you know like she's doing the best she can as a mother to to this point because she does like the ages that they are matter too like 18 and 19 mm -hmm. are very like they're very like formulaic years of your life where you're kind of just figuring out adulthood for yourself so mm -hmm. they may just be not ready to have that acceptance in their lives yet you know it may just take a couple more years for them to be understanding of their mom's situation mm -hmm. because they're still grieving you know mm -hmm. so this mm -hmm. situation is interesting i do think what you said makes sense they should seek some professional help as a mm -hmm. family yeah. um to kind of get past this but she's not the asshole in this one i, I wouldn't say yeah i don't all. think so um i want to ask what would you recommend like what i don't know because i feel like there's some <clears throat> there's some details that are clearly missing <clears throat> like what her parents didn't agree with them right with with her dating mm -hmm. and i just feel like what is their reason maybe something happened with the, the youngest child and his father and maybe that caused some conflict amongst the family right Good right point. right so I just feel like there's some information missing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good point, too. Like these stories, I always take them with a grain of salt, too, because the person who's writing that doesn't want to seem like the asshole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So they may be, you know, removing some key parts of the story to make them seem to make this seem a little bit more one sided. Yeah. But at the same time, too, this is a real life scenario that happens. And unfortunately, families have to deal with this constantly. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So. The way that they're approached, I feel like in a, in a household with a mom and a dad and if you, if you and, and children. If one of the parents is tragically gone or like tragically passes away, then it's the responsibility of the living parent to help the children grieve or help them through the process of grieving mm -hmm. for that parent, right? I agree. Um, and that also involves conversations, tough conversations like this. So mm -hmm. I don't see her as the asshole. Her parents need some work. If what she's saying is actually what's happening, they definitely need some work on their personalities. But no, I don't see. I don't see this person as the asshole. Yeah, Sorry. I feel like after 14 years and a dead and like a, you know a husband that mm -hmm. passed away, she is absolutely um, in th like deserving of help and support. I don't think she deserves this kind of reaction. Right. Like I think she deserves a lot more understanding, mm -hmm. considering the fact that she's a single mom now. Right. Of like how many kids? Four kids. Four kids. Mm -hmm. Like that's not easy. No, not at all. At 24 years old though, your husband dying and that's you have a couple crazy. kids. Yeah. So that's that's the difficulty as well. Like. Imagine being that 24 year old mind, even though you're a little bit having kids mentally ages you and having a different situation mentally ages you, but, but preparing them, preparing everyone for that moment is, is difficult and 38 outside and 38 inside a home with kids is two different things. So she does that counseling definitely should the parents need to get adjusted to and she needs to, I I don't want to be telling a grown woman like about their sexual relationship or anything like that, but 
No, because the, the second 12 year old popping out of nowhere, it seemed like it was just a surprise birth. So that is something else as well. That don't introduce every man to your I'm not saying introduce every man to your kid, but if you're going to have that relationship and they're going to be in the house, then introduce them in the proper manner. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, we'll leave it at that. Let us know your opinion.